What's up YouTube? I'm going to show you how to do a totally reversible mod on this Kelly. Turn this into this. So one thing you've probably heard of is moving this strap button on the back up a little. Then you're going to have a hole in the guitar so I came up with uh, this method. So what I tried is moving this one to the neck plate hole there but I don't like having that extra force on a neck screw. So you would have seen drilling through here. What I'm going to do though, but since that's the stock Jackson neck plate, is replace it with cheap eBay $5 one which I can drill through and then if you want it stock again, put the Jackson one back on. And as you can see I've taken the neck off and then I'm too broke to buy a new string so I just have to use the old one for now. It's going to get rid of that. I'm going to chuck on the blank one well, and then we're going to relocate that strap button. Alright, so we've got the neck back on with the new neck plate. Now I'm going to get my friend here, put a hole in it. So what I forgot is the hole in the metal neck plate needs to be bigger than the entire screw, otherwise it won't screw in. So I'll go get another bit. Okay, so I just drilled that out and I'm screwing it back in and hopefully everything works. Nearly relocated strap button, and if we ever want to put it back in the original hole, we take that neck plate off, put the old one on, covers up the hole in the wood. Yeah, so now finished, you can see the neck doesn't move at all. Um, like I said, reversible. I got the neck plate for five bucks on eBay. If I want it back to stock, move the strap button back to the original, original neck plate on, looks like it never happened. Still got total access up here to the frets if you are a shredder, unlike me. Um, thanks for watching. Hope it helped you out because figuring this out helped me. Cheers.